15th. It's about 7.30 right now. It's, it's been light out for half an hour or so. But, um, we're all out here in the blinds. Grandpa's across the field from me. Dad's across the road. And Eric's across the swamp. So we're all in our blinds. I've seen one doe so far. Dad and Owen saw a little nine point that I think if it comes in range, they're gonna, Owen's gonna shoot it. But if not, maybe Scott will shoot it. Scott's in his blind too, so. But it's finally here, November 15th, whatever, that everyone's been waiting for it. And we got subpar weather for it, which sucks, but there's nothing you can do really. It's like, I'd say 25, 20 mile an hour winds right now. And the rain just quit. It's been raining for like three hours straight. When I woke up, it was raining, pouring actually. But oh, if the if the rain, rain quits, the deer might get on their feet, I don't know. So, just heard a shot across the swamp. That was at daylight. It wasn't Eric, and Eric doesn't know if it was the guy hunting our property line or if it was someone across the road, one of the neighbors. So we don't know. But there is a big one around. Um, we've seen him a couple nights driving around in the dark. He's big. He's a mature deer, so hopefully he presents himself to one of us today. So. I think he's a nine, but all I 
could see was the sides of his antlers and by the time he was by the time I looked at how wide he was he was going straight away from me so stuff down again so I really didn't have to be there for much so I figured I'd get back out here and I'm really happy I did because it's beautiful out it snowed last night there's there's not even an inch on the ground but I mean it's beautiful out I've seen um, one or two one or two different does and right at daylight I didn't even have a film um film light but I had a that young nine I saw like a week ago bow hunt and I had that young nine he ran from across the field right under me at 20 yards and I saw horns and I didn't know if it was a shooter or not and, but it, I saw a small body so I figured it was a young deer he ran I bet about 60 yards I determined that uh, it was that buck and then right when he was right under me I was like yep that's him so but um, Eric's in his blind, I'm in my blind, and Scott's in his blind.
is a younger buck. Four or something, I don't know. He's a four corn. Maybe something. seeing is a cat. Up just past this trail. I mean, he's, and that's the offside he's spraying on. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't want this hair doesn't make me crazy here. That's light white hair, but you never know with hair. But you can see that impact. There's blood right here, and then from there he's spraying already on his offside. It looks like bright red blood. It's pretty much the same but he was spraying quick so he's got a gaping hole on his all off side I mean it's, it's pretty consistent right through here a little easier sprayed already yeah I'm guessing I don't know if his track he pounded that in this morning yeah that's his track it's spraying all along yeah sticker to make him a nine it probably is that same buck huh? Oh shit he's a good size sticker. <laughs> he's a pretty big body deer look at him. Right there's the exit hole. Well we shot this deer November 18th that's uh what the fourth day of season 15 six yeah took the day off of work came running by a split decision Split second decision, didn't have much time on him. Just seeing he was a decent buck, had a good body, and 
end of the drought, four-year drought.